Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Take four of Sunny and the Show. I am your boy, Sunny, and I promise you on take one through three, I guess I was probably in a much more festive kind of mood, but now I'm just like, mm. but <laughs> that's all good. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a good thing the wind, I don't know, the wind's blowing right in your face and, um, and whatever, whatever else, but you know, the really funny, funny, funny thing to me is it is, you know, surprisingly, it is hot and dry here in your old fashioned Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am trying to come at you from different occasions instead of just, uh, you know, being lazy and filming in my office. And obviously, looking at the playlight monitors, I am seeing uh, it's about time for a shape, about time for a good old fashioned, you know, some. But, people, I just know that I have missed you terribly. I have, I have, uh, I have missed you all, and I just, I know this is, I know this is the next episode, or I think this is episode four, but uh, all the time from in the season two, I was just like heartbroken. And maybe I need to find a way to do this year round. Because after all, it's my show. I set the schedule, and I set the rules. Um, when I'm out here by myself, I can set the rules. And because of you know her, she can set the rules there because she has the proper equipment to to make the rules. What she's got is uh, somewhat akin to gold. <laughs> So her gold makes rules, which is not bad, not bad at all. But I've come up with some new uh, drawing type projects. I finally got organized on my um, clothes type business. And uh, hopefully one day I'm going to be such a jerk that I combine the two things together from the, um, for my retail store and my art projects and the really funny thing is um, if I could keep doing this um, all the while just to just to keep my mind straight uh, you, hear the, you hear the train behind me uh, the trains you know uh, the train that's Let's just pretend for a second that, that train is heading off to uh, to the Folsom area. And it's, it's, I know it's not true, but it's really funny because, um, and I just know I like I like Johnny Cash a lot. And one of the most overplayed Johnny Cash songs is, of course, Folsom Prison Blues. And I'm so glad that I now have soundtracks in the uh, background you know i have added sound effects to keep that up that's really funny kind of a train i've never i've never heard a train be that nutty but what do i know you know it's it's what 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 it's all about what i think about it that was nice let's try that again Anyway, I'm not going on to the next take. Um, I just talked to my twin sister. She's in, uh, you know, she's in traction in uh, Lubbock uh, Hospital, way, way far east of here. Um, and I just talked to her and she's not doing so good. So I kind of, I kind of crossed my fingers for her and uh, you know, put some positive vibes out into the, out into the universe. Um, but that's the thing about me. It's really funny. I'm, I'm one of two things, always one of two things. Um, the really the neat the the first thing is the guy, and I'm kind of I kind of got that bohemian vibe. And I kind of got that uh, free spirit, do what I want, uh, kind of a guy. But then every once in a while, my mind kind of gets um, mixed up a little bit, and then I am, you know, the demon. Uh, the monster and really funny there's people I've seen that are really happy and really sad 
and they're just, you know, they're down, and they're, you know, they kind of, but not for me. Uh, I can only wish that that was the truth about me a lot of times, because, um, you know, it's exhausting. It's absolutely one of the most tiring things that you'll ever have to experience in all of life. Uh, and I don't like it. And I, I don't even know if uh, I'm, I don't even know if I'm talking loud enough to get my voice over that train. But yes, um, as everybody knows, I do work at, pardon me, I got take ups. Everybody knows I do work at Universal Talent. Right next to Universal Talent is a train that travels right through here. And um, some time ago, when I worked for Galaxy Modeling, uh, Galaxy had merged with another company and uh, kind of eliminated my position there. So I moved over here about coming up on seven, eight months. Um, something something of that nature. Um, but it just, the, the neat thing is that you just, you, you I can bring you along with me um, if I would just get up and do something. And no matter what I do, I, um, I look forward to uh, you know, hanging out with you guys. And uh, that, that, in some instances, that is the best part of my whole day. And um, I, ha I absolutely have to, I have to love, it. you know, uh, it's not, it's not hurting, wow, that was funny. It's not hurting anything for me to settle in and, and you know, get on and say a few things. But the really neat thing is most of my day is spent alone. And my goodness. That's just way too loud for human ears. But, what do I care? Um, if I need to reshoot this, I'll go back and reshoot this. But that, that looks like the, uh, that looks like the loose in the caboose. So, um, as the noise is fading, I'm still shouting, I'm shouting, I'm shouting. Um, yeah, isn't it, isn't it kind of a funny thing, though? I'm just sitting here relaxing and probably, you know, probably camera's looking right at me. So, uh, you know, what do you, what do you say? I don't know. What, what is it? Uh, what does it all come down to, I guess? Um, at, any, at any time, and this is the thing I realized, any time someone somewhere has the right to walk in and just say, get out but I want to make sure that if that day comes I've got something else to keep me going and this is a job that I used to love I used to love it more than anything else in the world uh, I couldn't I actually couldn't think of anything else and then I got to a point at some, at some time in my life, I got to a point where it was just every single assignment that they would give me was less and less and less enjoyable than the last. And that, that's somewhat bothersome to me. And who, who, needs, who needs that? I don't know. Uh, I, need, I mean, I do need a job. I'm not without needing a job, but I want to enjoy it too. And uh, I come here every single day without fail. And it just gets to the point where I uh, I do what I have to do. And I love I love the job I do. Just hate some of the people I work with. And if I could spread myself out into you know there were 14 copies of me, the multiplicity. Um, we could we could do this, and I understand me. I just don't understand the motivations that some people do. It's absolutely just nutty. It's a nutty thing. I can't fathom or understand why people do the things they do. It's it's just horrible. 
It's it's just horrible sometimes for people to do oddball things. I don't understand it. And I think really what's hard on me is I keep trying to understand it, even though I know I'm not going to. Um, if I can find a way to let that go. But anybody that knows me knows I'm not good at letting stuff go. Um, it takes me a lot longer. I don't let stuff go. I just I forget. On a regular basis, I just, I just forget about stuff. But, you know, that's, 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 a fine, that's a fine thing. But what makes me extremely happy is... God, that wind's blowing. What makes me extremely happy is to think about the fact that, you know, one of these days I can get away from all this and just go do my job. Go do my thing. And uh, I've, I've probably got one more. Pardon me. i probably got one more buying trip. And we go buy a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, then I want to put everything online. And I've got everything down basically to a formula. And it's, you know, it's taken me, of course, six weeks to develop, develop a formula. But I've got to. Uh, I just freaked myself out this morning because I looked at uh, I looked at my inventory. I've got four pages of just inventory, and to me that is just extremely happy. You know that's that's how can you do any better than that? Who, who wants to do better than that? But um, I tell you, there are times when I get to a point where. Um, nothing is going to be right. Nothing is going to be good. So the only thing that ends up being really good in my life is um, I just got to, a couple weeks ago, well, about a week ago or so, I went to the store and I got me this vape. And it's, uh, you know, it's really funny. I call it the, the Richard and Mortimer. And uh, no, no one thinks that's funny, but me. But, uh, it's really, it's really kind of got to be a neat thing that. See, there's another, there's another train coming that direction. Huh? <laughs> but uh, that vape has really gotten to be helpful to me. Just a, just a nicotine vape. No, nothing special. Just a plain old, you know, goofy thing. But uh, yeah, if you get. If you can tell the subtle hints that I've dropped to people, I enjoy the color orange, which is, I mean, it's kind of helpful to me because with everything that's moving around and everything that's going on, um, you know, I'm not only am I highly visible, but I'm also wearing my favorite color too. So that happened to work out just as well. And if you can tell by looking at me, I, ha I actually do have the company uh, Three button polo on underneath this, but um, only I only expose it in certain uh, certain uh, occasions. <laughs> but yeah, I know I'm just, I'm just like rambling on about about simple stuff. But um, to change gears a little bit, I I started getting emails i started getting some mail i started getting i'm glad i kind of did the preview you know the prelude to the season because that gave people an opportunity to to you know start you know writing and i got a package from an old lady and it was just it was the coolest little uh figurines you know it was it was just awesome uh and it, i don't know it kind of gives me an idea there's an old Japanese technique that I saw where you'll find broken, uh, you know, dinnerware, and people will actually fix it with with gold. And so I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bust her figurines that she sent to me. I, I like them a lot and I appreciate them. I'm not gonna break them. But I'm thinking about going to the store to get some figurines and. Uh, you know, bust them up and put them back together with with gold, and I think I think that would just be just kind of a fantastic idea. Um, but that's not an idea that would come to me naturally. 
that's just an idea that I would have to you know, look into and figure out and then realize if it took too much work, took too much energy, um, I would have to just forget about it. And in my head, I keep coming up with these different projects and stuff that I'm going to do. And then all of a sudden, I find out that they're beyond, they're beyond my means and my uh, brain power. And I just kind of drop it. And sometimes I'll just procrastinate my way out of doing it long enough to get to where um, just don't don't consider that stuff anymore. And at some point, if I think about it now, and then six months later I'll think about it again and be like, yeah, I actually can do that. Why have I been waiting all this time to to jump on that? And I end up doing. You know, I am doing a small quantity, but there's some projects that I've, I've been doing now for. I've been working on one project, my mask, my mask project, I've been doing it for 15 years. And in that past 15 years, I have yet to find anybody else that's doing anything like that. Um, and I've, I've even had some people that have, you know, expressed some interest. In the, in the mass type stuff, which leads me to believe in my wild little crazy corroded brain, leads me to believe that not only would I get away with, you know, um, selling my art projects, I could also maybe sell a few other projects. And maybe I, I, maybe I don't have to, maybe I don't need to. But um, the nice thing is knowing that I could. And maybe one day I could scatter that out and sprinkle that stuff around to where it makes better sense. Um, I think maybe part of the what's uh, part of what's so bad about it is I think of you know forty projects and I'm just kind of like well, I don't want you know I get overwhelmed and I want to do any of that stuff so. That's fine. I absolutely don't. I don't want to do anything of that nature. Um, but I'll tell you, for all my art projects and weird stuff, I, uh, you know, I just I want to keep busy. I want to keep moving. I want to keep going all the time. And with that, that's kind of the joy. But for the joy. I hope that everybody realizes that at some point I've got to, you know, make a living out of that. And growing up as a kid, I played music, and I still play music from the time I was four, yeah, four-ish, something like that. And different, I mean, I've just played different instruments, and I, I mean, I have played pretty much every single thing you could you could think of, except for maybe brass or or wind or, you know, I don't, I've never really gotten into that stuff, but um, I know, I, I can, I mean, I can tell you right off the top of my head, I mean, at least 10 instruments that I enjoy playing, and at least 20 more that I can play, not that I enjoy or am good at it, but it can be done. And the funny thing was somebody said, oh, you can't, you know, you, you won't be able to just pick that up and start going because uh, you never did it before. And I pick it up and I just, I just go. Um, that's been the one, one of the major joys of my life is I was able to look at a piece of, a piece of wood with uh, some metal wire attached to it and make a beautiful sound. Now, I don't know how appropriate it is, but um, the really funny thing, one of the quotes that I consider all the time was when John Lennon had said something to the effect of, um, you know, I'm an artist, uh, give me a tuba. And how true, how true is that quote? I'll have to look up later to see if that's actually a real, real thing. But um, on that note, literally on that note, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take off, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off for the day. And uh, y'all, 
do your best to do good, you know, be good and uh, behave and behave. Most, most of all, behave. Um, that, that joke came from a long time ago. I actually messed up. I was trying to say behavior and I said behavior. So, uh, yeah, that's that's it for me on this episode, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. Uh, appreciate y'all sticking around with me and listening to my BS as I ramble on about nothing. But the cool thing is that's that's pretty much how this is gonna go. So with that, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.